It's Friday night in Oxford, a city with a rising rate of infections. The night is young and so are they. But that 10pm Covid curfew is fast approaching. So we go back home now, there's no social distancing, there's, that's where corona is spreading after 10pm. We're, we're 18 years old, yeah. 10 p.m. You think we're going to go to bed? No chance, mate. We're going to go home. Go to I just bed. Need, we're just going to the toilet, then we're going to go home. Go but to go home. We're out with the council's COVID secure marshals, but even the men in high vis have to track and trace. They're tasked to make sure people head home. Pubs, clubs, and businesses close on time. Yeah, smile about it. Although we're told these students are in their bubbles and they're wearing masks. But it's after the curfew and this kebab shop's still open. They get off with a warning this time, but they could have been fined up to £1,000. Harsh say some, but life under Covid could be about to get a lot harsher. Today, four mayors of northern cities, likely to be affected, wrote an open letter to the government asking for more support and criticising the Chancellor's new financial package, saying it would, in their words, lead to severe hardship. Being paid two-thirds of your wages, especially if you're on minimum wage, is not acceptable. The amount of things in my inbox where people are saying, look, I'm on my last legs here. I've already had my business support loans and I'm burning through them and I can't open and I can't trade and I'm running up debts. People have had this for six, seven months now, and their financial reserves are gone. You're obviously very frustrated with Whitehall and the centralised decision-making that's happened so far. The government say that they are going to include local leaders going forward. Do you believe them, and, and do you feel included? It's felt on occasion that rather than partners, we are passengers in this process. That's not how it should be. At the best of times, you need joined up government, local, regional and national government working together. But in a crisis, it's even more important that people pull together. You get them to write a pencil today. Back on the streets of Oxford, Covid marshals are busy making sure people are following the rules. Today, though, came a stinging attack on those government measures from the British Medical Association, saying the messaging had been inconsistent. But the Department of Health and Social Care said at every stage they had followed scientific advice. Their critics insist the rules aren't working and politicians risk losing the public's faith. Well, I'm joined now by the Metro Mayor of the Liverpool City region, Steve Rotherham, who's been in talks with Downing Street this afternoon. Well, let's start with those talks. Are you clear now from them what restrictions are going to be placed on Liverpool next week? No, we're not clear because nothing's finalised and, as always, with this government, the devil's in the detail. But we do know that the orders will be laid before Parliament on Monday. It's likely that there'll be a very curtailed uh, period for that debate. By Wednesday, we're told that they will enact the uh, three-tier system and it's likely at that stage that Liverpool will be put into the very highest Liverpool City region, of course. And what does that mean? That means pubs and restaurants closing, non-essential travel curtailed? Yeah, it means all of those things potentially. But of course, there are um, some things that are absolute. So uh, they're saying if you're in the top tier, then pubs do have to close. But there's some discretion around restaurants. But these are the things that over the next few days, we're going to have to try and sort out with national government. But have you told Number 10 that you support in principle those restrictions, those closures? Now, what we've clearly asked for is the scientific evidence that supports the contention by national government that these are the only measures that will work in our area. And, and look, if they have to go further and the evidence supports that, that's what we'll have to do. But it appears that if they've ruled certain things out, like schools and uh, students in universities, then it leaves very little wriggle room for them to actually get the reduction in the exponential transmission rates that we've seen over the last five or six weeks. And when you say it appears, is that because of the scientific evidence the government has shown you? Or have you not, are you not convinced by the evidence yet? Well, we haven't seen it in all honesty, and that, that's the big thing. We've all asked the leaders across the six districts in the Liverpool City region and our MPs have asked to see the supporting scientific evidence so that we can base our support or otherwise on something that's a little bit more solid than the government saying, well, please trust us because we think this is the right thing for your area. OK, so if you accept, having seen the evidence, that the lockdowns have to happen, you're then saying to the government, are you, that 
more financial help is needed. What if they refuse yeah. to budge on that, though? Oh, no, no. Look, it, this is this is not negotiable. Um, we need a support package for our city and region. Nobody in the right mind is going to support a package that they know will have a detrimental economic impact um, to the businesses in our area and for the government not to step in and help them. And, you know, if um, Rishi Shunak, who in March said that the support level for furlough for the whole country was 80%, um, now believes that in the north we should settle for a lower rate, especially when we have a huge number and disproportionate number working in the visitor economy yeah. who are on less than nine pounds an hour. If he thinks that that is something we will accept it, it's not. And okay, employers would get you... away with paying less than two thirds of the minimum wage, would they? So why should the government? But if you don't get that extra financial package, you and MPs back it, you've got nothing that you can do unless you defy the government and tell bars and restaurants to stay open. Well, look, we don't want to get into the situation where ourselves and government are at loggerheads. And that's why we said, make certain that it's meaningful consultation. And we've got another session with government at number 10 tomorrow. And we'll go through the detail of the package that we need. But the government seem that they want to work with us. And we'll have to see what's the best package of support that we can get that ensures that our economy doesn't tank.